Hi, my name is Jesse Barnum. I'm the president of 360 Works, and today I'm going to be doing uh, a short, about 10 minute demo on our 360 Works Scriptmaster product. This is a free plugin, and it's a modular plugin. Instead of having a set of functions that it's designed to do, it's designed to run code that's written in Groovy, which is a programming language very similar to Java. You don't need to know any Groovy or Java programming in order to use Scriptmaster, because we've written more than 50 modules that come with it out of the box. The first one I'm going to demonstrate is this get URL as text module. You can see that the actual programming code here is extremely simple. Um, this is probably one of our one of our simplest examples here, but it's a useful one. And it takes a parameter of the URL and you give it what URL you want to go to. And I'm going to run this uh, hit this evaluate script button and that runs it. It what goes out, gets the contents of the URL and returns it into the this filemaker result field as text. Um, so there's obviously a lot of uses where, where that would be handy. Um, what I want to show is a new function that was added in version 2 of Scriptmaster, which is the register function. When I go up to the top here and click this register function button, it's going to register that as a FileMaker function, get URL as text. And so now that's just another function, just as if I'd written a custom function in FileMaker, you know, with FileMaker Advanced, you have the custom functions. This is now also a, a function, and I can go into the data viewer to demonstrate that. By looking at my list of functions and going to the external functions list, I can see the get URL as text. It's in the Scriptmaster grouping, and there's get URL as text. And uh, I can run it here if I want to, right in the data viewer. Notice there's no scripting involved here. This could be a lookup or a calculation or anything like that without any scripts. And it's a little hard to see it in this tiny window. But there's the contents of our website. And so that is how the register function uh, works. Now I want to move on to another more interesting, more complex module that was just recently added to the latest release of Scriptmaster. This is our QuickTime Frame Capture module. Um, I want to show you that, I mean, the code here is a little bit more complicated than the previous one that just got the contents of a URL, but it's still nothing that you have to really know that much about in order to use this module, as I'll demonstrate. So again, just like the URL, I'm going to register this function. It is now registered as the QuickTime Frame Capture function, and it takes two parameters, a width and a height. I'm going to check on this box right here, register on startup, which I didn't do with the other get URL uh, function. And what this is going to do is it's going to make it so every time I open the scriptmaster file, it's going to register it as a function in FileMaker. So now this becomes very easy to use in other files outside of scriptmaster, since you can just open the scriptmaster file and register this as a function. Uh, you can once it's registered, you can close the scriptmaster file, and then you can use it with any other FileMaker file. So to demonstrate that, I have this contact management file that comes with FileMaker. And I'm going to modify the behavior of this insert picture button. Ordinarily what it would do is it would ask me for a file, um, and when I pick the file it would insert it into a container field. But what I'd like to do instead is have it pull a picture from my iSight camera built into my MacBook Pro. And so I'm going to set that uh, image data field equal to and again, you always need to pull down to external functions whenever you're accessing a script master function that's been, because that's where all the plugin functions go. So I'm going to call this quick time frame capture function. I'm going to pass in a width and a height. I'm using a small width and height because we have a small container field. And now I'm going to give it a shot. So when I click this insert picture button, it calls script master, which runs the, um, the code to pull up this picture. That's me. And now I'm going to hit this OK button, which returns the results as a container and drops it into this current file. So that worked nicely. I'm going to delete this to show you a few of the things. Um, but that's a, you know, a good example of where you might use a script master function in a live FileMaker file. What I'm going to show you now is a step that I skipped. Now remember, we checked that Open at Startup button but just checking it in the script master file is not enough. We need to actually open the script master file from whatever our FileMaker solution file is in order to have that startup script run. So I'm just going to do an open file. I'm going to specify script master as the file that I want to open. That's going to run the script master startup script, which is going to register all of those functions that are set to run at startup. 
and then I can immediately close the file because once the functions are registered, I don't need scriptmaster open anymore. Remember that once a function is stays is registered, it stays registered for as long as FileMaker as long as the FileMaker application is running. So to show that, I'm going to completely quit FileMaker. I'm going to open the contact management file. You're going to see the scriptmaster file briefly flash up while the startup script runs, and it registers the function that we told it to, and then it's finished. Now that it's been registered, it shows up as a function in any FileMaker file that we want to use, as we can show here in the data viewer. There's my uh, QuickTime frame capture function. You'll notice you don't see the get URL as text function. That's because we didn't check that to be a startup. Uh, a startup function. So all you need to do is just check all the functions in the scriptmaster file that you'd like to use in your solution. Call it, um, call the startup script in the scriptmaster file. You know, include it with your solution files, um, and then you're set to you're set to go. I'm going to show you one other way that you can also register files in scriptmaster that doesn't require you to include the scriptmaster file with your uh, solution files. So instead of um, including that, we're going to copy and paste the register function directly into your startup script. I'm going to un uncheck this as a startup script, and I'm going to click my. I'm going to go to my register function screen. But this time, instead of checking the register on startup checkbox, I'm going to click this copy button, and the copy button copied everything onto my clipboard that I need to register this function. Now I can paste it into the startup script of my contact file and I won't need the script master file anymore. So now I'm going to go into my startup script. I'm going to disable the the references to the external script master file. I'm going to use the set variable function. It doesn't matter what I name the variable. What matters is when it gets called, it's going to register the function. So all of that groovy code just got pasted into here with the register groovy command. And so that tells it to go ahead and register all of that as the QuickTime Frame Capture function. Now that I've done that, I can again quit out of FileMaker, which unregisters the function. I can open up my contact management file. You're not going to see the scriptmaster file open this time because we're no longer referencing the scriptmaster file. Um, our startup script registered that function for us. To show that, I'm going to come into my data viewer. And I'm going to show that the QuickTime Frame Capture feature is there. And we can test it by clicking the Insert Picture button again. And it's working perfectly. So that, in a nutshell, is uh, our ScriptMaster plugin. You can see that it comes with a ton of different modules. Um, you know, I only showed you two, but there's more than 50 that come with it. Uh, you can do things like uh, color pickers, screen captures, networking, uh, encryption and decryption, file manipulation, um, script triggering, uh, all sorts of stuff that comes with it. So download ScriptMaster from 360works.com slash ScriptMaster and um, uh, browse through the modules that come with it. Check it out. If you don't see a module that you're looking for, that's our, that's how, that's our revenue model for ScriptMaster. Since we give it away for free, um, all we ask is that you give us a call whenever you need something enhanced or customized or added, and we'll get you an estimate on adding that to the ScriptMaster product. Um, so we hope you've enjoyed this, and uh, we hope to do another advanced lesson later on writing your own modules with ScriptMaster. Thanks a lot for listening.